In today's video, we're going to be comparing the original XPOD performance against the new XPOD competition. So first up, the actual size and capacity difference between the original performance and the new competition. So first of all, as you can see, is the size difference. Actually, if I put it down here, you'll see it better on that camera. Size difference is uh, quite an obvious thing. Much smaller, of course. Slightly different style in that the, the veins aren't fully sort of molded into the design of the spot itself. They're more separate. But um, other than that, they're pretty much exactly the same, just a bit smaller. But to give a bit more of an accurate representation of the capacity, I'm now going to do the very laborious and probably quite time-consuming task of filling these with boilies, then counting out how many boilies each of them holds. So we'll speed up the camera for that, starting off with the performance one, and then moving over to the competition. So there, that is now filled to the point I can just about close that door, squashing probably one boilie. I'm now going to count them all out. Thirty-nine, forty, exactly 40 15 mil boilies fit into this moving on to the competition and there is that one took 25 boilies so 15 boilies difference between the original performance and the new competition. So a little bit less bait, and of course that would be the same if you went down to 10 mils or 12 mils, it would still hold a different amount. But for 15 mils, you get about 15 boilie difference. So if you wanted to put a little bit less bait out there, and obviously go for this one, or uh, vice versa, a bit more go for the performance. So as you've just seen, the capacity difference of these two spots. Now we're gonna use that in relation to actual distance achieved with each of them. Starting off with the original spot, and then switching over to the new smaller one. To start with, I've got the 12 foot, four pound spot rod from Wolf, and then we're gonna use it on a 10 foot, three and a half pound spot rod from Wolf. I'm guessing before doing this test that the 12 foot is gonna be slightly better suited to the bigger spot because you assume that a bigger rod is gonna be a bit more hefty for the larger size, and this one's gonna feel better with the 10 foot. But we're about to find out, gonna do 10, uh, not 10, sorry, three casts with each rod, with each setup, wrap them out, average it out and see what distance we're getting on both the 12 foot and then the 10 foot. It should give us a much better idea of which one is best suited to what kind of setup. So we've just averaged out my three casts with the original spot and I got 106, 102 and 98. So a perfect average of 102, that was my last cast, is what I managed with the 12 foot, four pound uh, spot rod. So we've now switched over to the newer, smaller version, and let's see what I can get with this one. Remember, if you like this sort of content, then please subscribe to us and ring that bell so you don't miss any future uploads from us and you'll be notified. And also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for regular updates. So I've just averaged out the three casts with the smaller version, and quite surprisingly, actually, it was pretty much the same within two yards. So this one averaged 104 yards range over the three casts, my biggest one being 106, and the biggest one with the normal size or the original size was also 106. So in my capabilities, that is, don't take that as gospel as that's all you're gonna achieve with that. This is with my capabilities, with this setup, I couldn't see a difference between the two. So. Where I see this could come in handy is if the wind started picking up or you need a bit more accuracy or you just wanted to put a little bit less bait out, this one may come in handy. But for a bit more bait and that same sort of range, then the original one probably is still going to work for you. But that's on the 12 foot setup. We're now going to move over to a 10 foot setup, do exactly the same test once again and see if we can see any kind of difference between the two. So we're now set up with the 10 foot three and a half pounds, so a bit softer, but it should mean that with the length and the different test curve, it should be I would have thought easier to compress, but let's see how it performs with the larger spot. So just under three casts with the original spot and I've averaged 93.6 recurring. So now switched over to the newer, smaller one. Let's see how this copes. I'm going to have a feeling it's going to feel better more than anything, but whether it actually performs any different, I'm not sure, but we'll uh, put it to the test anyway. So 
So I've just done the final three casts with the smaller version on the 10 foot rod and I got two 98 yarders and 100 yards. The nearest makes any difference around the 99 yard mark. So compared to the larger spod on this setup, which got 93.6, I think it was, this got 99. So a few extra yards, nothing huge um, in comparison with the actual distance achieved. And that's the same with the, the first test with the 12 foot rod as well. So I think the main thing to take is that it performs pretty much just as well as the larger version as well, which is a good thing because it means that you're not having to pick or choose between the two on their capabilities. They're both just capable. So I guess it comes more down to the amount of bait you want to put out there and also the usability. I found the larger spod worked much better with the 12 foot rod, as you'd expect, bigger weight, bigger rod, better casting capabilities. In the right hands, I'm sure you'll be able to cast further with that, with the larger spod than you would with the smaller one. But moving over to the 10 foot spod rod, which is becoming more and more popular, people having smaller setups, smaller spod rods, this one felt a lot more natural using because it was, it just seemed a better balance with the, the capabilities of the rod, my capabilities and the size of it. So was, although I was hitting virtually the same distances, felt a lot more uh, user friendly with the smaller one. Um, and I can't keep reiterating enough that with my capabilities. If you're an out and out caster, you probably cope fine with the other one. But for me, this one, the competition spot, I think the reason it's called that is because it feels a lot easier to use. You can repeatedly cast this one out at those ranges. Yes, it may be a little bit less bait, but it's not going to fatigue you as much as perhaps the bigger one would. That is my conclusion from this test anyway. So you've now seen the capacities of the new competition spod and also how they perform in relation to the previous and slightly larger performance spod. But it's worth noting how these are actually built and how they work if you haven't seen these before. So the X spod, both this and the larger performance version work on the same basis of using magnets. So there's no mechanism in there that can get gunked up. If I open that up like so, you can see there's magnets all the way around, splits into four veins that deploys your bait on impact. It's also worth noting with the smaller one that bend the veins out like so when you first get it, just to make sure that it opens up nicely. Otherwise, it might be a bit too um, rigid on the first few uses. But once you've done that, it makes them much more uh, malleable, I suppose, and able to open up fully and deploy your bait perfectly every single time. And as I was saying with the lack of mechanism on this, using magnets, nothing can gunk up the system. I found these to be much more reliable and consistent on opening. So I've actually used these in my own fish, well, the, the performance one that is, because I haven't had this one before. But this is certainly something I'll be putting into my fish, and I'm not just saying that because uh, we're filming it now, but I genuinely do use these in my own fishing. So they open every time. I found them to be very, very stable in the air, just with the design of them. Impact resistant, the materials are used the same as, as the previous model, so they're high quality, thick plastic. Just because this is smaller, they didn't want to skimp on the build quality, so it's still just as rigid and, and uh, durable as the previous model. So there's no risk of this deteriorating over time just because it's smaller. Also available in red, white and black, so you can choose your colour. And this could be for different lighting situations as well, or you've just got a colour preference. And they come in at $15.99. So there you go, everything you needed to know about the new XBOD competition, especially in relation to its bigger brother, the performance. A lot of it is down to personal preference on your setup, how much bait you want to deploy. So that's your choice really, but there you go. That's the two in the range that you can pick from right now. For more information, please do head over to the Wolf website and to pick one up as well. But remember to subscribe to us, ring the bell if you haven't already, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for regular updates. But for now, cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.